it's Katie and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my end of the year empties video because my empties bin is piling up and it's kind of getting ridiculous. So I really need to film this video. Like look at this. Like that's insane. Like I can't believe I just, oh, it, it piled up that much. I can't believe it. But I can't believe I let it pile up that much. But yeah, we're gonna go through this. If you haven't seen the empties video before, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. Empties video is where you go through your trash it's kind of like an old school video but I still love it I've been doing it like forever my whole career of YouTube yeah like my whole time on YouTube I've been doing it and yes yeah, so you go through your trash give your opinions many reviews say if you love it if you hate it what you give, just give your opinions on it and talk about your trash it's a fun time to do yeah so let's just get right into it okay so the first thing that I have is something I'm really excited to talk about because I love these so this is the oily I believe it's called or ol oily I don't know it's these. So these are the oily or oily, I don't know how it's pronounced. Restful sleep for a healthy sleep cycle. These have melatonin in it, l dyne and botanicals. So you get 50 gummies in here. So this is like a vitamin gummy supplement that you can use to help you sleep. I found these, like I found out about these from Brooklyn Danielle here on YouTube. She posted on her Instagram and I was like, oh my God, like do those actually work? And she was like, yeah, like I love them. Like they just help me to sleep. Like I fall asleep so fast with these and I was like I need that because I I don't know what's wrong with me but I was like going through a period when I was being like such an insomniac like I just had the I just had the hardest time sleeping it would take me like three hours to fall asleep these are amazing I've been using these for a couple months now and I have to say if you have trouble sleeping or if you're just like that person that's always thinking a million thoughts when you're going to bed take one of these like literally try these out they have them at Target I believe they sell them at CVS and stuff like that these these are amazing they also taste really good like taste like a berry and stuff and you said to take two gummies 30 minutes before you go to bed but honestly I take one and it really works so use them like use them like I guess not as fast if you take one but it says that they have a naturally tasty blissful blackberry with a hint of mint which I really like and there's no artificial flavors or colorants they are certified by the B corporation whatever that means and they're also gluten-free they have melatonin in it which is we've got a drug-free mellow right here this is a natural occurring hormone works with your body's chemistry to promote healthy sleep cycles l-thionine is an amino acid that encourages calmness so you can hush the, those voices in your head and direct off and botanicals are flower power chamomile passion flower and lemon balm have been infused for centuries to help soothe and relax these i'm not even can you work so well for me like i'm not i'm not joking there no jokes here these are amazing they work so well I fall asleep fast I fall asleep just well with these and they're amazing you definitely need to try them if you just have it already you need them in your life it helps you sleep so well okay so the next thing that I have is just Febreze this is the Febreze Air Bora Bora I swear I've had this for like the longest time and still some is like coming out like I don't understand like it was empty and now it's not I don't know but this smells so good if you need Febreze I use this in my dorm just to freshen things up because sometimes it just gets a little rank it happens it happens and stuff so I would use the Febreze as the air bar bar of waters one which I said this smells just so so amazing it smells like an island coconut that kind of scent and I really really like it and I would repurchase and by the way this you know I would repurchase I actually already did I bought like a 70 count I believe but anyways back to this I would repurchase I love this scent I would even try other scents and I especially like this better than the other bottle because it's not as loud not that I don't want people knowing that I'm freshening up my room but it's just annoying the other one's kind of annoying this one's just kind of like normal you know it smells so good so yes I would repurchase that okay so the next thing I used up is my shampoo this is the herbal essence repair argan oil of Morocco shampoo it's free of gluten colorants and parabens and stuff and I liked this sh shampoo I've been using this for months I believe it might have been in my last empties video but I really really like this but also I just find that like I don't know what what it is about it but like 
I don't know. It's supposed to be a peach balance color safe shampoo, but I don't know. I think this has like sulfates in it and stuff. And I just don't know what it made my hair like feel. I don't know what it was with my hair, but I just don't my hair. I don't know. I like this shampoo and I really like the smell of it. I like how it makes my hair feel. After a while, I kind of felt like eh, it was eh for my hair. I don't know what, what words to put to it, but I was just like eh, not really feeling it anymore. So I don't know if I'd repurchase this. Honestly, I'm looking into shampoos that are for your parabens, sulfates, all that gross stuff so if you have any favorites let me know down below because i can't deal with that stuff anymore okay so the next thing i used up is the saint ives even and bright pink lemon and mandarin orange scrub this scrub i've been using this past year and i really really like the saint ives scrubs i've never found anything terrible of their scrubs i've honestly never had any bad experiences with their scrubs but i know a lot of people are saying that they aren't the best but i did really like it i like the scent of it it wasn't like it didn't have like met it was just like a natural scent I don't know how to explain it. Like it wasn't irritating my skin, of course, but I did, did like it exfoliated. It was more of a light exfoliation and it was nice, but I don't know if I'd repurchase this as of right now, maybe. But if you have any favorite exfoliators that are cheaper down below, let me know because I'm kind of conflicted. So next thing I used up is a little baby like sample or not sample, but a baby version of the body lotion from Bath & Body Works. This one is pumpkin latte and marshmallow. This has the best fall sweet and just scent. Like this reminds me of fall so much like pumpkins marshmallows oh just fall days i really like the scent i don't know if they have this around in fall now like this is a couple years old but i really like the scent and if i were to go into bath and body works next fall and they had this i would definitely repurchase because i really like that scent so the next thing i used up is the trader joe's rose water facial toner i already have a backup of this and it's my favorite is it just hydrates and refreshes your skin this bottle i believe i got in like march or april and i just used it up the other day it's insane like how fast I used this up like I like how long it took me to use this up it's insane I really like this because it really calmed my skin I used it after exfoliating to kind of like hydrate my skin and it was just very nice and refreshing and I used this sometimes morning and night sometimes just night just it depended the day but I really 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 like this and I would repurchase so many of these I hope this isn't a limited edition that was a rumor a while back because this is amazing okay so next I really need to repurchase this but I used up my Roddy Beauty Rosehip Oil I had this for a couple years and I really really liked this oil it really helped diminish scars and it just used it i used it to tie also hydrate my skin which i really like i really like this rosehip oil i think if you're gonna go for one you should definitely go for this because it's 100 percent pure and natural rosehip oil it is also cold pressed which if when you're want, wanting oils especially rosehip you're gonna want your oils pure of course and cold pressed i really like this oil it was just very nice and hydrating and also diminished scars and everything and it just really just helped my skin texture and stuff and i would repurchase i actually need to repurchase so i'm gonna get on that very soon but actually i think i'm gonna keep the like the dropper of it i think i might keep it i don't know what for what purpose but i think i'm gonna keep the dropper and just get rid of the bottle i'll probably clean that out later next thing is the sephora matte perfection powder foundation i used the i got like a little sample in a play box that my mom got and she gave it to me this one was in 14 natural linen and i used it completely up i really like this powder i wouldn't repurchase it though because it is matte and i don't really love matte powders anymore with my dry normal skin i think that's what my skin is i have no idea but i don't really care for like this anymore so my skin is drier especially in winter but i did think it was a nice powder to kind of try out and use so next i used up the clinique the moisture surge this is one of my favorite new moisturizers i got this when i was like on a deal at ulta so i got two of them so i do have a backup of this so i don't really need to repurchase right now but this is the most moisturizing moisturizer like it's not too moisturizing like you can literally put this on in a few minutes do your makeup and it works very well i just liked it because it just felt very light it was more of a gel consistency but it did hydrate my skin and i did love it and honestly it might be like one of those that i will have to repurchase and stuff i really liked it it was just very light on my skin and i this thing lasted a couple months which is amazing i haven't been using it recently but i'm gonna i think in the summer i would really like it because it's a very like light and it's still good now but like i'm kind of like i don't know i think i'm gonna use other moisture 
moisturizers that I have, but I did really like this. I did think it was nice. It was just very light on my skin, but still hydrating and I really liked it. And maybe in the future I will repurchase, but I do already have a backup. Okay, so next I used up the Emica Drip Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I've had this a couple different times through boxes and sets and everything. And I do like this, but it does have a major white cast. So I don't know if I'd actually repurchase full size. I have gotten this full size before but I don't know personally I just really like my Batiste and I'm happy with that so I don't think I would repurchase even though I do like this but if I got in the set I wouldn't be mad okay next I used up a body wash this is the live fresh seaside breeze body wash this has coconut water in it juicy nectarine beach blossoms fresh air sun-kissed musk this is just a very like summer like shower gel I really like it it's just very fresh and air light which I really love and yeah I would definitely repurchase this next summer I really like the scent of it and it's just I don't know what what about it but i just love just the scent so next i used up a toothpaste actually my brother and i used this up together this is the crest 3d white this removes up to 80 percent of surface stains whiter teeth and stuff this is the arctic fresh one compared to all of the like different versions of this that they have this one is definitely my favorite i have a different one that i use at school but this one is the one i've been using here and i honestly might go back to this like i like my other toothpaste but also i'm kind of like eh like this one's pretty good too and yeah i like this because it is very minty but it's not too minty and I just love this Too Faced it's definitely a goodie okay next I think I have two of these but I used up the Kirkland signature daily facial towelettes for all skin types you get 30 in here which is amazing that's like five more than typical drugstore wipes give you and I really like this I thought it was just an awesome like makeup remover it removes everything so easily it doesn't burn doesn't stain doesn't make my makeup like feel like taking it off doesn't make my skin burn I really like these and this is the front repurchase i love the kirkle and brand wipes i have two of these in here one's over there but i did use up two packets of these i honestly might have used more than that now that i think of it but i feel like i used up more i don't know i just feel like i had to use up more in like the three months i was in school i must have but maybe i didn't i don't know so next another shower gel this is dark kiss this is one of my favorite of their signature scents i really like this it has like a dark taste to it taste smell to it it's black red raspberry burgundy rose bergamot and incense and then dark vanilla bean and plum musk it's very like dark and musky but i really like it it's so, it smells so good i love it and i would definitely repurchase it there's nothing much there i just would repurchase it come on now so next i used up the elf less lip scrub and i think this is a great affordable lip scrub if you're looking for something what i really like about this is that you just twist it up and put it on your lips this is the go-to thing that i did end up using on actine when i wanted to get rid of my crusty lips this is what i used i really like it because it is a tube and then you can just kind of like rub it around with your finger and then lick it off like honestly and i just really like this on actine so if you're on actine i would definitely recommend this i like how it's in a tube it's very user friendly and everything and i definitely would repurchase but i already have a lip scrub on hand so maybe eventually i will repurchase this but i like it because it is just very like user friendly and i believe this is the brown sugar one which is my favorite i haven't tried any of the other ones but i think this one is probably one of the best ones because most natural tasting i guess so next i used up a mascara I used up the lights camera lashes from Tarte. I really like this mascara. I've gotten it like as a sample and just I bought it at full size when it's on sale many, many times. I really like that the wand's very simple. You can really get in your lashes. Make sure eyelashes just look natural, but it also gives them a lot of volume. I really like this and I probably would repurchase when it's on sale. I'm not really one to buy like high-end mascara at its full price anymore. I don't know. I just find there's so many drugstore wands that I love a lot better. So this I really like and I do want to repurchase this. This is the Garnier Fruities this is the nourishing treat one minute hair mask with coconut extract i believe i got this in a pinch me box which i will link pinch me down below if you want to check it out and everything and this is just supposed to make your hair like i don't know it's just to smooth out your hair and just make it feel better and i really like this and i do want to get this full size for sure so next i used up the wet and wild dewy primer i've already purchased this this is one of my favorite drugstore primers and it is very cheap it's only five bucks for a primer which is amazing and it lasted me a super long time i even cut it open so i could get everything out of it really like it's a dewy primer it makes your skin very luminous it's amazing a little goes a long way for sure trust me and i really like this i already purchased it so obviously i love it and it's just the perfect dewy primer from the drugstore for so cheap okay so next i have a sample foundation so this is the tarte targar 20 this is a tinted moisturizer this honestly felt like a full coverage foundation at times this was amazing it just blended well around my skin i really like using this in summer i don't know if i'd repurchase this but i did really enjoy it I 
have mine in the shade light and I thought it was awesome for just like getting that coverage and everything for every day and getting your SPF all in one. Loved it. So next I used up the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment. I remember not liking this. This felt very sticky under my eyes. It just was not good. Now I like Kiehl's products, the ones I have tried in samples, but this one was a no-go. It was, it has avocado oil and it was just way too like sticky. I did not like this. I hated this so much. Would not even try bothering trying it full size. So then I have a soap that I used up. This is the Bath and Body Works Wild Honeysuckle. This just smells, you know, very like florally, just amazing. Love the smell of it. Just very sweet and florally, which I love. And yeah, honestly, we would probably repurchase this if we were to get more soaps. I don't know. So next I used up the Verb Ghost Oil sample and I like this, but honestly, I don't know. Like it's just your typical like oil and stuff for your hair. It just, you know, it's supposed to soothe your hair, smooth it out. And I liked it, but probably wouldn't repurchase. There's just so many that I like better. Then I used up some samples of the Pantene shampoo and everything. I used these up when I needed shampoo and I just needed a little rug. Good thing I had these around, you know, to use while I was in between shampoos. I really like these, but probably wouldn't buy them full size. I know the shampoo I like, so that's probably why I wouldn't buy them full size. I just know what I like and I use what I like. So next, I used up the Kiehl's Oil Fruit Oil Repair of Hair Pack. I remember really, really liking this. I remember that it just made my hair feel hydrated and I think I have other ones of this. So I'll definitely be using those soon. But yeah, I remember really liking it. So yeah, I would definitely use this again. Next, I used up the Vasanti Brighten Up Skin Amplifier Moisturizer. I really like this. It was just a typical moisturizer that made my skin very hydrated. And I would definitely use it again. So next, I used up... Uh, uh, I guess I'll go with this one first. Current dip course from Kiehl's. Honestly, I wouldn't buy this full size. Kiehl's is just expensive enough and there's so many lotions that work better and I did not like this. This this was yellow. It came out yellow so it stained my clothes and I was kind of bitter about that so mm, not a fan. So then I really really like this. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I really like this. It's very hydrating and awesome. I will definitely get use out of this again. Loved it. Don't know if I repurchased but I definitely will. I will use it. Sample wise, I'm for it. Again, the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment. No, no, no too sticky. And this is the Kiehl's Crystallized Marine Ultra Rich Lifting and Firming Cream. I like this for scars because I find that wrinkle creams even work for that so they kind of help them and stuff but this one smelled like booty so this is not a repurchase. This is not even I will use this again. Then we have the Lip Agave Lip Balm from Bite Beauty. This was in their birthday gift for this year. I really like this and honestly I considered buying this but I probably wouldn't buy it unless it was like during their sale time. But yeah this was nice and I really like this was very hydrating. It's kind of like their driving lip mask, but even just about as hydrating. The Fresh by Sugar Lip Balm. This is just their like just clear lip balm. I really like this. this. is so hydrating. I've never tried something as hydrating as this. Like seriously, there's very few products out there that are hydrating as this. I really like this, but I don't think I would repurchase even though I loved it, but they're also not cruelty free and this would take me forever to go through. So I'm not about that. Next, I used up the Catrice, Catrice Liquid camouflage concealer. This is a high coverage concealer and stuff. And personally, I don't think I would repurchase this. I like this, but I don't know. I just found that like there's other concealers that I like better than this. So I probably wouldn't repurchase, but I did really enjoy trying it out because after hearing about it for years, I was definitely very curious. Next, I used up the Benefit Roller Lash. This is a mascara that I personally wouldn't repurchase. I found that I like other mascaras better, but it really gets into your lashes. It had that curved brush and I do really like it. But personally, I just wouldn't buy it full size or repurchase again. I'm just not into it anymore. So then I used up the Revlon Color Stay. This is a combination oily one. And I did really like this foundation, but I don't know if I'd actually buy it full size. I don't know. I'm not just not feeling it anymore, but I did love trying it out and I tried it out with a pump. So that's amazing. And yeah, just don't think I would repurchase. Last few things. So next, tried out the Kiehl's Cucumber Herbal Alcohol Free Toner. I really remember liking this. this for all skin types, particularly dry and sensitive skin. And I really like this. It didn't like irritate my skin in any way. And it just felt like, I don't know, it just felt very natural as a toner. Probably wouldn't repurchase though. And then we just have a few more things. I used up my Essence Make Me Brow. Love this, I repurchased. I think this is amazing. Just gets into your brows so well. And I really, really like it. It fills in them in. It's just amazing and I love it. And then I used up the Bite Beauty Exfoliating Agave Lip Sugar Scrub. I, 
honestly, I've there's so many lip scrubs I love better, so I wouldn't repurchase this, but it was nice to give a go. Then I have the Commandi Gold. This is like a perfume. I remember this having like a very distinct scent. I don't know what it was, but like it kind of had a moss to it and I liked it, but I honestly don't think I would repurchase. And then lastly, I used up the Sephora. This is just a black eyeliner. I'm not a huge black eyeliner person. The only time I use them is like when I get them as samples. So yeah, the bag is now empty. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed all of my empties for the end of the year. Definitely will have more empties coming very soon. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know any videos I'd like to see next. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.